Hey guys, how's it going? I'm uh, just about to head out with Simon here again, and we're going to go do an exercise on dynamic rollover. I had a couple people asking me about um, if I could just talk about and do a, a little demonstration of dynamic rollover. Um, obviously, we can't do the, the full exercise because that would be a real safety issue, um, but I want to give you guys just a real basic understanding of uh, what dynamic rollover looks like, so I'm going to do just the, the sort of the entry of that. And um, But more importantly, I want to talk about uh, dynamic rollover prevention. Okay, so first of all, a quick explanation between what dynamic and static rollover are. Dynamic is if you were to hook a skid on the ground, the helicopter would start rolling over. Um, before the center of gravity or the center of mass of the helicopter um, crosses over top of the pivot point, the fulcrum pivot point, that's still called dynamic rollover. That means you can still fix the problem. So you can use counter cyclic, so like left cyclic if you're tipping to the right, or you can lower the collective, and both of those things will actually help the helicopter flatten back out again and, and land back on the ground. Um, so that's dynamic rollover. Static rollover is when that skid is hooked and the uh, the pivot point has actually crossed over your uh, or sorry your center of gravity has crossed over your pivot point, uh, and then there's no fix anymore. If you lower the collective, the helicopter is still going to tip over. Usually, even uh, counter cyclic won't fix the problem anymore. So, talking about prevention first of all. Um, to prevent dynamic rollover, you want to think about a few different uh, instances where you could actually get into it. So uh, one instance would be if you're landing on snow and you get your skid stuck in the uh, stuck in the snow, or even on an icy ground, you might land on a concrete surface or something that's a little bit wet. And um, if it freezes, then you could have the skids stuck. One of them can come free, the other one will uh, stay stuck onto the ground. Or you get your skid jammed maybe underneath a log or under a rock or something like that. Or even in just some mud. So you land in a soft, muddy area, uh, swampy or something like that, and you get your skid stuck in that mud. So. Um, those can all be potential uh, ways, and there are other ways that you can get uh, a skid stuck and get dynamic rollover. So um, being aware of your surroundings when you're landing on a, a surface, look around a little bit and see what the skids are on. And uh, that's usually a really good way to figure out if you're going to have dynamic rollover. And then the other thing is when you're taking off, and this is the habit for so many different things, but uh, when you're taking off, make sure you're taking off very slowly. So make sure the, uh, the skids are coming up uh, slowly. So you're using a collective, lifting off very slowly. And uh, you want to feel that the whole helicopter comes up nice and evenly. You can even use a little bit of pedals as you're starting to lift off the ground just to feel that it's coming off. Um, evenly, if, if you do feel like you're slightly stuck, use those pedals a little bit um, and the cyclic as well to be able to, uh, to feel the helicopter's coming up smoothly. Once you're up nicely into a hover, then you know that you're free of the ground. If you were to start catching and rolling over, immediately you could start lowering that collective again, applying a little bit of opposite cyclic, and it'll, it'll go down right away. So um, thinking about it ahead of time, being aware of it, is the number one prevention for it. So we're going to get right into it, Simon. Did I miss anything on this explanation? All nope. good so far. Okay, so we're going to get right into it. We're just going to give you a couple of real basic demos of what it would be like if you caught your skid. I'm not going to actually have my skid stuck on the ground, but if you did, what it would be like for the helicopter to start tipping over and then um, putting that counter cyclic. Okay, guys, so what we're going to do is we're going to come down and land on the ground here. And now that we're landed, we're going to go ahead and start lifting off. So when I lift off, I'm going to pretend here that my right skid is actually stuck on the ground. And so I'm going to start lifting. And as you can see, I'm not going to go very far, but you can see my left skid's coming into the air, and the right skid is stuck to the ground. And if I continued pulling at this point, and I wasn't aware that that right skid is stuck, the helicopter would continue to rotate, okay? And then it would roll over at this point. That's the dynamic rollover right here. Okay, guys, so I hope that was a basic um, demonstration for you guys. Yeah, I know we're in different seats now. We ended up doing some switching for the uh, for the filming there. And um, if you guys have any questions about it, feel free to comment in the comment section below. Uh, this wasn't a thorough um, description or uh, explanation of dynamic rollover, but I just wanted to give you guys a real basic un understanding of what it is, uh, what types of things you can uh, do to make sure, or uh, how you can actually get into it, and then more importantly, um, how you uh, predict that it can be happening. So that's kind of the real key. Um, like Simon and I were talking about uh, a minute ago, it, it's really about taking your time, making sure that when that collective is coming up and you're, you're lifting those skids off the ground that you take your time. Um, I don't want to take too much time with this story, but there's a really quick story from my experience in my past. I knew this. Um, I was taught this in ground school. Uh, my, my instructor went over this with me. 
I had a situation uh, a long time ago, back when I was uh, kind of a new pilot still, maybe 150, 200 hours, and um, I landed on some logs. There was some, some logs beside the lake. There was no beach on the lake or anything, so I landed on some logs, and, and it was nice and flat and solid and everything. We were good and solid on the ground, and uh, I let somebody out. He wanted to go fishing, and um, so we, uh, we landed there. Everything was great, and I, I was looking around, and I knew there was some, some little stumps and some branches and different things uh, around there, and so I wanted to make sure that I didn't have my, st my skid stuck on anything, and um, so when I lifted off, I was thinking about this dynamic rollover, I lifted off very, very carefully, very slowly, and, um, and I got up into a hover, my skids are free, everything was good, and I thought, oh, fantastic, and so away I went for kind of a maximum power takeoff, and so I pulled my collective and kind of started going forward on my cyclic, and uh, instead of flying away like I thought I would, all of a sudden the helicopter started to tip forward like this. And, and it was one of those moments in your career where you, you see your life flash before your eyes. I know it's a crazy saying, but you, you actually did. I, I saw so many things go through my mind in that split second as the helicopter started to tip forward like this. And I was literally looking down at the water and the, and the logs and stuff in front of me. It was a crazy experience. And, um, and the helicopter was tipping, tipping, tipping. And instead of reacting immediately like I should have been, which would have been pulling back on the cyclic, gently lowering the collective and kind of getting it back into a hover, it was too late by this point because I had already started moving forward. And so I just pulled, pulled, pulled like crazy with my collective. And at the last second, the branch that was actually hooking my skid, I'll tell, tell you about what, what happened there, it snapped and the helicopter went probably 25 feet up in the air, kind of did this big waffling and I got it back under control everything was under control and I was able to fly away safely. Now what happened there? So I lifted off into the hover and there was a branch coming off the log that ha had actually gotten stuck over top of my skid and because it was a long branch it flexed with me so as I was lifting up in the hover it flexed up I didn't notice it. I, I felt like my skids were totally free from the ground and so once I was up uh, off I went but the problem was that's that that stick was stuck over one of my skids and it caused me to start tipping over it left to the left and forward as well at the same time and that's why I was tipping like this looking at the ground and um, and it was while that skid was still hooked that I was tipping over as soon as that branch broke then I had no issues anymore. And that's the key with dynamic rollover. As long as your skid is stuck to the ground, that's when you're going to be tipping over. Once it comes free from the ground, then you'll be okay. Now, the key factor that I learned from that is it doesn't even matter if you've lifted off in the hover and you think you're fine. Don't You don't have to go do a, a max power performance takeoff. Just take your time, nice and gently. You know, Make sure that you're a good three feet off the ground or something like that, and then st go ahead and start uh, moving the helicopter away. Because it, 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 it's in those instances where you don't expect it, that's when dynamic rollover will get you. If you're expecting it, it's no problem. And, and that's the key, I think, with every single takeoff. You want to expect the worst. So you want to expect that that skid's stuck to the ground. Even if you're in a, a nice grassy field area, um, you're going to go ahead and lift off nice and slowly, uh, make sure that those skids are free. Once you know that the skids are free, off you go. So I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, share it with somebody who you think would find this interesting. And until next time, uh, Simon and I are signing off. Talk to you guys later.